What's going on guys? Hype here. I'm just going to go through some of the stuff that I found in my uh, dumpster dive. I have some more outside, but uh, AT&T Mobility Disc says Mood on it. Don't know. I'll have to check that out. I found two of these. One for 360, one for Wii. I kept the Wii one. My boy BZ kept the uh, 360 one. These are both brand new. I'm gonna end up keeping this game. I it, it, it was a little curious. Whatever. The other one uh, on the 360 has customizable soundtracks and uh, a lot more, but it's cool. I, I'm collect for the Wii, all the weird type games. Uh, all dogs go to heaven. Double feature. This is a little scratch and has to be cleaned a bit, but it'll it'll work. Howard the Duck. There you go. I'm a, I needed this for my collection anyways. A pickup I had at the Goodwill for 216. I got this Dos Lunas Tequila. This was only sent to liquor stores and bars as the box has no barcode or anything on it. And what it is is a uh, let's see if I can get it open. It's a lighted bottle stand. It takes batteries and it plugs into the wall. And it's basically brand new. So I got that. For the Pure One um, dumpster finds, I found this sample fabric, but these are uh, right here are um, paper soaps. I have a bunch of them in cases, but these are the loose ones. Um, they smell good, and basically you just take one sheet and you wet it, and it turns into soap and it disintegrates so you can wash your hands. So that's that. I found this wrought iron hanger and as you can see, see 65 dollars another one of my finds non-game related is this chair driving through my neighborhood and uh, it was garbage day and they were throwing it out a little cracked as you see on here like the leather but other than that like the back headrest is in great shape it's got the uh, ergonomic design so that was a find right this is another find garbage day in my neighborhood find and it works perfectly fine all right let's go out to the car Fifty nine fifty New York black on black fifty nine fifty seven and three eighths fitted cap. It's got to be dusted off. I'm gonna clean it. Um, it was in the GameStop dumpster, as you see. It has some sweat or wet marks, but I know how to clean it. And then I'm gonna sell it to a friend of mine. Uh, Guitar Hero Wii guitar. It's missing the top part. It's not broken. It just uh, I didn't find it in there. It's never. They must either someone must have took it or something, but once I find it, it'll be a complete guitar. I'm just probably gonna trade it. Uh, I don't know if I showed this stuff. We fit bag. Uh, Ducktails, big box, 
Injustice Ultimate Edition, Batman, Big Box. These are all guides that have just the covers ripped off and I have to repair. Um, and a box of uh, miscellaneous empty cases and, and inserts and like Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that, manuals all kinds of stuff this is all stuff going to the video game store uh, PS Vita box has everything in it but the system interesting find this thing here is a giant magnet it's vinyl and it's got all the day one games Forza 5, Rise of Rome Dead Island 3 and then Call of Duty Ghost for the Xbox. I'm thinking this might magnetize to the back of the uh, um, kiosk, but uh, as you can see, it magnetizes to anything. So it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet or not. Let's put that over there. A bunch more cases, PSP, all kinds. Um, I found a bunch of these, and these are for the Xbox kiosk, I believe. This is the um, remote control for the Samsung TV and all the manuals for it. I have not one, but uh, I think there's two in here somewhere, uh, right here. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, right here is another one. So two. Um, I found two fake PlayStations, one here, one there to go in the PlayStation 3 kiosk. I found a lot of old paperwork for EB Games, like extremely old, ESRB store, associate training guide, um, their certificates they gave the employees, proud to recognize for special collection of certified game pro something, I got a bunch of these unused certificates um eb games game pro selling skills well this one's in someone's book jared something um game pro selling system electronics boutique this is a gamestop associate handbook um i got a wii fit box playstation 3 box um, there was more of these in the dumpster, but Series 1 power discs, all of them, and it's like a hard, shiny, like, plastic, and then I guess it shows all the characters, I um, only, only took one, um, punch out case if anybody needs it. Let's see what else we got. I got a bunch of these Mario, Luigi, Dark of the Moon boxes. Never used. Um, I got a brand new, I believe this is uh, the uh, Mario 3D World. Um, like the Sonic and Mario Olympic game one. It's the same style, but it's for Mario 3D World and has Zelda and stuff on it. As you see, it says NOA Nintendo of America. It was never opened, still sealed. So anybody wants it, I can ship it. Um, if anybody remembers, uh, what's his name? Cobra Timmy finding the, the 3D style, the Dead Rising poster. Well, I got the Rise Son of Rome 3D style, as you see on the back, if you can tell. It's raised, so yeah, I only have two of these, so um, one's up for grabs, can do a trade for it or whatever. I have the, the box to ship it as you can see, so get at me. Um, let's go on the other side. Don't know if this is from GameStop or not. It's a frame, but it's the type that you can 
lift up this and then close it back down and fit in like a, a, a poster or something like that. So I'm gonna see what if I have any that'll fit in that and I can hang it up in my game room. I found da, 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 da. GameStop Game Pro Fast Track book. Just kept it for nostalgia reasons. I, I, I have more memories of good memories of EB Games than um, what do you call it? Uh, GameStop, but it's the same company. So uh, this is paperwork to keep in stores. Working Associates. I don't know. It's a manager packet. Um, People pack it. A bunch of crap uh, that they give you, I guess, when you get hired or something like that. Um, for movie stuff, uh, I found a otter belt clip thing. Um, slip sleeve for your next. Um, DVD slip sleeve for your next Blu-ray carry slip sleeve where they took the lenticular off. Uh, Clockwork Orange two disc DVD. Um, what do you call it? A uh, slip sleeve. Uh, two of the Butler slip sleeves on DVD. I'm not sure what this is. The Girl Next Door um, slip sleeve. Enough said, slip sleeve for Blu-ray. Fruit Valve Station, slip sleeve, DVD. Spectacular Now, slip sleeve with, oh, that's just a piece of paper stuck to it. Um, DVD. Riddick. Blu-ray. Two Riddick DVD. Sleeves. Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, a very rough limited collector's edition of E.T. Um, I mean, I got a bunch of, this is all like DS cases and empty cases, Wii stands, a bunch of these 3DS case things, um, Xbox 360 empty case for... Crisis 3 limited edition, a PlayStation 3 box, PlayStation Wii box. I got a bunch of these display Xbox One cubes that have the uh, day one games on all sides and the system picture on one side. I took the folder, threw the paper out. This is their material safety daddy sheets from um, GameStop. They must have emptied out their offices again, so you might want to check for that. Um, There'll probably be more stuff I find. I think there's an infamous Second Sun poster. There's more of them. Um, I found a bunch of keys, which got me curious. Uh, I'm not sure. I took them only because they're the same size as the kiosk keys. And uh, since I was finding stuff for the kiosk, uh, I'm not sure. So I got, was it, three of these type keys. In a bag. I got a bunch of these. Oh, there goes some. And these look like kiosk keys, so I don't know. And then I got some of these. There was like keys out the ass in uh, the dumpster in the GameStop bag, so I don't know if any of these go to the kiosk. I don't have a PlayStation 3 kiosk, but I'm gonna try my. Uh, Xbox and if they if any of these match then I can uh, send one to P3 and a couple other people to ask me for the key I don't have to go make it um, See real quick I gotta clean these things off they were saying the dumpster was kind of like rusty and wet and stinky so I'll clean them up I found these save like a pro today pins um, Well, these got a little wrinkle these are stickers, I guess, for Destiny. Become Legend 9914. Uh, tape gun from GameStop. I found audio and video cables. 
brand new. And then you can see uh, Bioshock sleeve, Hollywood squares. I got some, I got a crap ton of these. Um, Black Friday stickers never used. Uh, more PSP, Xbox 360. No really games, just mainly empty cases and whatnot. Yeah, that's really about it. So that's mainly everything I found as of late. Um, it's been kind of slow. So um, that's the reason why I haven't done any videos. I, I do find stuff, it's just it isn't enough to, to write home to mom about. So uh, I kind of just don't do the videos. But uh, yeah, so if I, oh, and I found a bunch of these, they're going to the video game store as well. These um, signs. I'm trading them in for credit. So I found that chair over there. Um, nothing wrong with it. And I found a set of, uh, I mean, I might as well go over everything. So <laughs> this chair here, the pillows are in backwards, but it's in good shape. It's like almost like new, um, free. Someone was throwing it out. Uh, I have to have a set of three of these chairs. Someone was throwing out. Um, I know two of them are missing one of these um, bars across the side, like this one. Uh, that was free. Um, and let's see what I got in here. Got a bunch more boxes and posters. Injustice. I got this Titanfall giant poster. Um, Cabela, Destiny, what else we got, Beach by Dre, I don't even know why I have that, Assassin's Creed, PlayStation, these are the big boy ones that go in those picture frames, got that one, got that one, oh this is a, okay, yeah, these haven't been cut out yet or something. Anyways, yeah, so that's mainly everything I found. Like I said, if I get anything else, I'll uh, let you guys know. So I'm going to cut back to me back in my uh, game room. And as always, guys, peace. What's going on, YouTube? Hype here. I uh, just got home not too long ago. Um, I got footage of most of the stuff that I found throughout the week since I haven't did a video. It's been really slow. And I found stuff, but just nothing to like write home to mom about. So I figured I'll just sum it all up and what I found. Also some non-video game related finds. Um, garbage finds and stuff like that. Um, like, uh, this is just one of the things I left out. I found the Magic Jack for... A dollar sixteen at the Goodwills, so I couldn't pass it up. I still got to figure out how to use it. <clears throat> I don't know if I need anything else or whatever, but eh, I, I know they charge like forty bucks for these things at Walmart. Um, there's a new version. There's a plus that you can just plug into the wall. You don't need a computer or something. This is the original one. It looks cool. Whatever. Dollar sixteen. Couldn't pass it up. So. Yeah, um, trying to think if I have anything else in here that I uh, didn't show you guys. Um, I don't think so. Uh, so, anyways, uh, one of the things that's pissed me off is YouTube removed the inbox button on our uh, YouTube pages, so we can't check our messages. The only way to do it is to go to someone else's page, click their About Me section, scroll down to where it says send message or message user click that and then it brings up the little box to send a message um, via the old way and then you have to go over to the little menu on the side and click your inbox to actually view your inbox you gotta go through all that now the easy way I believe is just to bookmark your inbox um, in your favorites and it'll take you back now I don't know how long the inbox is gonna stay active since they removed the button now um, it's still there, but it's harder to get to. Um, 
So just a shout out uh, to Dr. Smitty. I shipped your package today. I sent you a message with the tracking number and everything in the uh, in your inbox. So go through that process to figure out how to get to your inbox and check it so you can keep an eye on the package. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I finally got that out. Um, I shipped out a Final Fantasy um, <clears throat> cloth banner to uh, another viewer. Um, so that's that's someone else that uh, they they should know who they are. Um, that's receiving that. Uh, shipping is a lot of money. I will tell you that much. So if you guys need anything or want anything from me, you're gonna have to pay the shipping at least. If I'm not asking for anything in return, because man oh man even even little things cost money nowadays especially with everything going up um so yeah um very very slow out there i hit up pier one import um radio shack all the game stops uh what else did i do a goodwill like three or four times this week um I don't even know what else. I know I got Disney's Aladdin. I don't know if I even showed that, but I got Disney's Aladdin and Disney's uh, Sword in the Stone, like mint on DVD. Um, one was like the Platinum series, one's the Gold Collection. I don't care. I just didn't have them. Um, both of them for three bucks a pop at the Goodwill. Um, I got that Magic Jack. Um, I showed the PS1 I got the other day for $2.16. I still haven't tested it. Um, yeah, I think that's really about it. Um, like I said, it's been real slow. Um, don't know uh, a lot. It's been on and off raining. Now it's hot again outside. Then it's supposed to rain tonight. Then it's going to get cold again, I think, middle of next week. It's weird Florida weather where people are getting sick. Dumpsters are all soggy, stinky. Like all that stuff I found this in my van that you'll see in the video is just like it was disgusting. Like one dumpster was just cardboard and it was fine. The other one that had all the stuff at the bottom it was like a soup of old stinky rainbow colored water. And like the digger the farther you, you dug the more it stank and more bugs came out on it. It's just gross. And that's the way most of the dumpsters were. So I'm hoping they'll come, they'll dump them, come Sunday, Monday, and start checking fresh again next week. Um, like I said, the one GameStop apparently dumped all their electronics boutique. I don't even know why they had stuff from electronics boutique. Who knows how old that stuff was. But, I mean, th this was employee files, had social security. Like their reprimands, their reviews, their original application, all their phone numbers, addresses, every personnel file for people, I guess, that worked there during the Electronic Boutique era, I'm assuming. Maybe some of the GameStop, they were just in a box, and each one was just like in its own little folder, and it had their name at the top, and you could just pick it out, and there was resumes, all kinds of stuff in there, it was crazy. Um... So they dumped out their offices again. I don't know how many times they're going to do it. Why don't they just do it all one time? Um, so I, I picked through some stuff. You see it there. The little vintage books and stuff. Just just remembrance for Electronics Boutique. Um, so yeah, man. That's really about it. I'm a little tired. and uh, Not too much to, to talk about as far as like finding anything. Um, just remember I have that contest still going. Um right now you get your choice of the like I said the when 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 it when I hit 2500 subscribers the the drawing will be for the people that commented guessed on the song and the people that got it right will be in a separate drawing for something else um, not sure exactly still what that is but as far as the main prizes you got your choice of a Sega Genesis model 2 complete system um, a movie bundle and most likely like a, a bundle of games probably like one for each system xbox wii and uh 360 and maybe psp as well um 
And if anything, we'll work it out when the, when I, I get in touch with the uh, the winner. So, uh, yeah, just keep telling your friends about that. Thumbs up the videos. Um, due to the lack of stuff being found and, and stuff, I, my videos haven't been like it used to like a couple weeks back. But I'm still doing the videos. I'm trying to figure out some new stuff. I got to get this room finished. It's been, uh, it's been so much stuff going on. I haven't had time. As like uh, the Metro poster there, that's in one of those big frames. I got to get it hung up. There's another one here. Uh, this is a lot of stuff that I just got to get done and get this room in order. Um, it's the last one I have to work on. Uh, and uh, hopefully get that uh, TV for the kiosk too so I can start using my Xbox. Because that's basically where I'm going to use my Xbox at. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get the Halo 4. Uh, edition uh, Halo 4 edition Xbox and uh, the, that one video game store I go to has one in the box complete in great shape I'm just trying to get enough stuff up to trade them so I can either pay a little bit and get it or get it for on trade completely so that's one of the other things I'm trying to do um, one of the games I did find uh, I'm not going to go get it um, at the Goodwill is I always keep an eye out for GameCube games I picked up Batman Vengeance on the GameCube complete um, and it's in great shape $3.16 so I added that to my collection and uh, that's really it so alright guys if anything if I come up with anything else you'll see me in another video otherwise enjoy your weekend let me know if you found anything in the comments below and as always guys I'll catch you guys next time peace